Hey guys, Jason here with the One Stop How To Guys, bringing you episode 7 of Advanced Drupal Development. In this episode, we are going to be setting up our product catalog. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking all the products that we're going to be creating, we're going to be classifying them so that it's easier for shoppers to navigate our website and find the products that they're looking for. So what we want to do is we want to group all of the, the like products together into, into categories. And in order to do that, we're going to just use a taxonomy list. So if we come up to structure and go to taxonomy, we're going to add a new vocabulary in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to call this our product category. And we'll just save that. Now we're going to add some terms to our product category. And for my particular uh, store, I am going to offer shirts. I am going to offer hats. I will offer bags. And I'm going to offer some stickers. So now we have our product catalog all set up. And all it is really is just a list of taxonomy terms. So if we come back in here, we can see we have bags, hats, shirts, and stickers. Now we want to add this to our product display. So if we come in here to product display and we manage the fields, we can call this category. And from our list, we're going to select term reference. And we want this to be a select list because these products probably aren't going to cross categories. And we want to make sure that it's our product category. And we only need one value, so we're going to go ahead and save that. Now, I personally like to have my category selection at the top. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. And now if we come back in to our content here and we go to our Drupal shirt that we created last time, we could see that we have a product category to select and we're going to select our shirts and we will save that. Now this really hasn't done much of anything other than add the classification of the category to it. We're going to have to build out the structure of our product category using views so that people can kind of navigate through it easily. Now I do want to do one little piece of cleanup here that's kind of bugging me. I want to come into structure, content types, product display, manage display, and I am going to move the product image up just because I like to have it over the top of the body. Okay, now there's one thing that probably isn't going to work out so well for this particular product is that the variations that we have here should really be the exact same shirt in different colors. And that way it makes sense to group them together. So what I want you to do here is pause this video for a second Start adding a bunch of products to your site. Um, make sure that if you're going to do what I did here and have a white t-shirt and a black t-shirt here, that they're the same shirt and not completely different styles of shirt. Um, and just load them up, classify them into each one of your sections, and then come on back here and we'll move on to the second part. Okay. Now that you got your site loaded up, and as you can see here, I have mine loaded up. I've got a few products that we're going to be working with here. So we got some shirts, we got some a hat, we got a bag, and we got a sticker. Um, so if I come in here to this Just Drupal, I want to show you what I mean by using the same product in different different variations here. So you can see this shirt here in white. And then if we switch to red, it's the same exact shirt in red. So they're not completely different. So there it is in green. Um, and then if we come up here to, let's say, our uh, baseball jersey that we have, you can see there it is. And if we switch over to the red version of it, same shirt, just a different color. So now we have a bunch of products. They're grouped logically. Now we need a way to actually get to them. And for that, we're going to use views. If we come up here to structure and we go to views 
and we add a new view, we are going to call this our store overview. We are going to show taxonomy terms of type product category. Uh, now we're going to take the overview off of this particular title and we are going to take that off of there as well. And for now we're going to leave it as an unformatted list. Uh, we don't need a pager, we only have four categories so we're going to get rid of all that stuff. And we are going to continue and edit. So now what this is going to output, it's just going to output our taxonomy terms. And really, we don't need to do much else in here except get this in the menu. So if we come over here to menu, and we say normal menu entry, and we call this our store. I'm pretty sure that's what we called it. Uh, that's what we're going to call it for now. And we want this in the main menu, and we can apply that. So now we're going to hit save here, and close this down. Now we have our store tab, and when we click the store tab, we're going to get our bags, our hats, shirts, and stickers, and when we click on shirts, that's going to take us to a page that looks something like this. Now this isn't exactly what we want. Um, it's not real clean, but it gets the job done for now, where we can come in and we can go to our different products that we have here, and if we pop back over to the store and go into the stickers, you can see here that we have our, our Drupal sticker and we now actually have a way of progressing through our store. Now this particular page looks pretty boring and we want to spice it up a little bit and maybe have an image here that we can use just to make our overview look a little better. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to structure, we're going to go to our product category and we're going to manage the fields here. And we're going to add an existing field, and we're going to add the image field in. So we don't need to really change any of the settings in here. You might want to turn the alt and title tags on, um, but we're just going to save this for now, and I'm going to move the image up above the description there. And we're going to close that down. Now if we come back into our product category here, and we edit our shirts, we now can choose an image here. We want to choose, let me get back to my downloads here. Uh, it looks like I don't have one there, so we're going to have to grab one. Uh, maybe we have one in the images here. Yes, this will work. So we'll upload this to our shirts, and we'll save that. Come into our hats. And we're going to upload this hat image. Come into our bags. And we will upload the bag image here. So we're just going through and we're giving each particular taxonomy term an, an image to work with here and then our stickers. And we'll save that. So now we have an image associated with each one of our terms. And we got to get it on this page here. So we're going to edit this view. Under the fields, we are going to add the taxonomy term image. Take off the label. We're going to make it medium for now, and we want this to link to the content. Now these are both separate links, and that's okay. Uh, but if you want to kind of change this up so when you hover this just in general, uh, you're hovering only one link. I'll show you how to do that really quick here. We're going to come up here to the, the taxonomy term name. We're going to unlink it, and we're going to exclude it from the display. So now all we get here is just the image. And then we're going to go into the image. We're going to rewrite the results and we're going to rewrite the output of this. We're going to grab the replacement patterns here. We need the name and we need the image. So we're going to put these in and we're going to do the name underneath the image. So we're just going to wrap these guys in a couple of divs real quick. 
We're going to do two wrappers on this. We're going to do one for the outer. And then we're also going to do one for the inner, which we'll just call image. And then we're just going to wrap this in name here so that it is also in a div. One other thing we need to do is we need to unlink this from the content or we will absolutely break the functionality of how this works. Now we have no link, which isn't really what we want. So we need to come in here and add one more field. And that will be the taxonomy term ID. We do not want a thousands marker. We don't need that on. And we want to exclude this from the display as well. Now, in order to use a rewrite, uh, a field in a rewrite, it has to be above the field that you're going to rewrite it into. So that's why we have to move it up there. And we're going to go rewrite again, open up a replacements, and we're going to grab the TID. We're going to output this field as a link, and it's going to be taxonomy forward slash term forward slash and then our TID. And that's just the default Drupal path to a taxonomy term. So we'll save that out. So now we should essentially have the same functionality as before. Um, but this time what we're doing is we are actually making this whole thing a link. And as you can see, that's working out somewhat fine. We have some, some little issues with you know, the taxonomy image showing up at the top and, you know, it's, it's just not looking the greatest. But we're going to overwrite this page in general in the next episode using views again. So this page won't, won't even closely resemble what it looks like now. So that's not a big deal. But back here on our store overview page, let's do one more thing just to kind of make this look a little nicer here. Let's go into our view. And instead of unformatted list, for right now, we're going to make it a grid. And we're going to make it a 2x2 two two grid, not a 42x2 grid. Uh, so we'll make it a 2x2 two two grid. And that'll at least get us this. So this is kind of the structure now. We have, we have our store. We can get into our products here. And we can view our products. We can check out this particular product here. We can add it to the cart and we can follow through the whole process. Now you may want to have a little more control over the order in which these show up in. And if we go into views right now, we can see that there is no sort order happening here. So what we want to add to this is the taxonomy term weight, not the vocabulary weight, but the term weight. And what that's going to do is that is going to make our order here match the order of our actual taxonomy list over here. So right now we can see it's kind of in an alphabetical order, but since we have more shirts uh, than we do anything else, maybe we want that to show up first. So if we come into our product category, uh, and we move shirts up and we say we move hats up and then bags and stickers and save that. Now this is going to resemble our actual taxonomy list. So that gives you even further control. So that's all I wanted to do in this episode. We actually did quite a bit. We got our product overview page set up and ready to go. And we can now navigate through all of the different products on our website. So we can see all these different shirts that we have. Um, once we get in, we have like products grouped together. So maybe we want to grab this green shirt here, and it's the same shirt, uh, which makes our product uh, structure make even more sense. And we can add it to the cart and we can check out. So that is a lot of work that we did in this one episode. So if you like this episode, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me everywhere on social media, uh, Check out onestophowtoguys.com, sign up for an account, and I'll see you in the next episode where we fix up that pretty hideous looking uh, product catalog section. See you guys.